facilities, your building, where you are, is it big enough? If you're expanding, you picked up some new business lines, you look around going, got cubicle, 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 got a little tiny break area, but someone put two cubicles in there because we're growing. We got 15 more people to hire next week and there's no room. So we got cubicles with two people sharing. They can't even move their chairs without bumping into each other. Maybe it's not big enough. You got to plan for growth. You got to figure how can we handle what we need, changes information security standards. You pick up a contract from the Department of Defense. They tell you this information is classified. You got to set aside an area. You got to build a skiff got to have walls that are solid, you got to have secure doors, uh, a locking mechanism, combination lock for entry. You might need to change things. You have fire safety requirements. You got to have a safe with a two hour or four hour fire safety so your papers don't burn up. You keep a backup on site, safe there, four hour safety, eight hours. Yes, you send a copy off site, but you want to make sure the on site one is available for quick restoration in case you're thinking, don't keep the backups on site, you send them off site for safety. Yes, you do. But you also keep a copy on site for quick restoration in case someone deletes a file by accident or you get a quick virus attack and does some damage. You want to go to Iron Mountain to recall and have them bring it back. That might be the next day. You want to be able to restore it in 30 minutes. You got new equipment. Do you have enough power? That's a big one in data centers, server rooms, where we have high density equipment. You have a rack, you got a, a blade server in it. You got about eight blades in it. And each one's sucking down about 300, two to 300 watts. And all of a sudden you notice your power goes out. I've seen it. I've seen power go out in data centers and everyone's shaking their head, they're crying. You know, the HVAC goes out because it overloaded. Got to manage for equipment, new equipment, and the facilities to manage that equipment. Power being a big one. Financial constraints. You know, got to have those pretty circuits in there. Instead of that 30 amp circuit, you get an 80 amp circuit coming in and about 20 new ones because you're putting in a bunch of racks. Where are you going to get the money? If you didn't budget for it, if you were, weren't allocated those funds, you're not going to do it. Proper budgeting, proper fiscal management will make the constraints more manageable. Without it, you can't. 